In today's crowded first-person shooter market, it's important for a game to carve out a niche, to do something better than or different from its competitors. Medal of Honor tries to do just that, primarily by representing a real conflict in a real country between two real opposing forces. From the chatter among the soldiers, to the impressive weapons, to the environmental continuity, there are many elements that imbue the campaign with an invigorating sense of realism. Unfortunately, this immediacy is dulled somewhat by a bunch of video gamey elements, like invisible walls, invincible allies, and an incongruous icon that pops up whenever you score a headshot. The campaign has carved out an uneasy niche between realism and escapism, where it manages to provide a fairly engrossing experience despite its flaws. The online multiplayer offers many thrills of its own, and the adherence to realism here makes for battlefields where the only thing between you and a swift death is your gun and your reflexes. Both the single and multiplayer components provide some robust entertainment, and though flaws and limitations keep it from being all it can be, Medal of Honor still distinguishes itself on the field of first-person battle. The single-player campaign takes place in Afghanistan, where craggy peaks loom over dry, rocky terrain. You are part of an American military effort to find and eliminate Taliban forces, and you move through surprisingly varied environments that are nonetheless linked by common geography. The grounded-in-reality premise gives the game a slightly more immediate feeling, and the geographical continuity helps keep the campaign cohesive. The great battlefield chatter portrays intriguing facets of professionalism and camaraderie among the soldiers. What's with the fire? Gargoyles do have to signal each other. And though the same can't be said for the ham-fisted command outpost cutscenes, the dialogue is generally very good. It's easy to keep track of who you are and where you fit into the offensive, even though you play as multiple characters. Over the course of the campaign, you engage in heated firefights, quietly infiltrate enemy encampments, paint targets for air support, man the guns of an attack chopper, and more. Things proceed at a good pace, and it's invigorating to realize that all of the exciting action you are engaged in takes place within the bounds of a realistic military operation. Despite the focus on realism, however, Medal of Honor takes a lot of steps to ensure you're going to have a good time, and this leads to some unfortunate problems. The campaign is a linear adventure, and there's a lot of dialogue devoted to laying out squad tactics and coordinating up the command chain. Much of this chatter is delivered on the run, but there are times when your progress is halted at a flimsy door or a short ledge in order to let your squad mates talk. There are also a lot of invisible walls that prevent you from going off the beaten path. These two elements seem designed to keep you in line, so you can experience the campaign the way it was meant to be experienced. But these methods hamper your freedom and often feel heavy-handed. Perhaps more egregious is the not-so-hot enemy AI. The Taliban soldiers are smart enough to take cover and not run around in the open, but they often spawn and stick their heads out from behind cover in alarmingly predictable ways. The campaign lasts around six hours, and on the normal difficulty level, it isn't particularly challenging. Ramping up the difficulty makes your foes appreciably harder, and those who like to test their skills will enjoy Tier 1 mode. In this mode, you are timed as you play through an individual campaign mission on the hardest difficulty. Performing headshots, melee kills, and racking up kill streaks freezes the clock for varying lengths of time, shaving precious seconds off your completion time. If you manage to complete a level, you are ranked on an online leaderboard in a bunch of different categories, including fastest time, most headshots, and longest distance kill. The challenge of going slow enough to survive, but fast enough to register a strong time, creates an exciting sense of tension, especially if you're competing against a friend or a rival. Medal of Honor also caters to those who prefer more direct competition. The online competitive multiplayer covers a range of familiar team-based modes, including Deathmatch, Sector Control, Objective Raid, and the Progressive Combat Mission. The maps are well designed, but not terribly big, ensuring that the matches, which feature up to 24 players at a time, are always intense. You can play as the Rifleman, Special Ops, or Sniper, and each class has its own series of guns and gear for you to unlock as you rank up. Success in a match not only helps you rank up, it can earn you powerful offensive or defensive support actions, like Mortar Strikes, Enhanced Bullet Damage, UAV Surveillance, and Radar Jamming. 
All your abilities and assets remain strictly within the realm of realism, meaning you will always hear the footsteps of an enemy running up behind you, and you can't revive your bullet-ridden teammates. The multiplayer action is well-tuned and intense. Getting caught out in the open is usually fatal, and one-on-one -on -one firefights are usually resolved within seconds. Quick reflexes and good battlefield awareness are key to your survival, and the single-player campaign does a poor job of preparing you for these harsh combat zones. Medal of Honor's multiplayer has already become a haven for the hardcore, demanding a level of precision that competitive players will either thrive upon or abandon to their twitchier opponents. Though it's tempting to look at its flaws and dismiss Medal of Honor as inferior to its competitors, there is a lot to enjoy here. The campaign may have its shortcomings, but its unique sense of scope and well-orchestrated pacing make it an enjoyably cohesive adventure. Tier 1 mode offers an accessible yet formidable challenge, and the competitive multiplayer captures the brutal intensity of a battlefield where one errant move can result in your abrupt death. Medal of Honor may not set any new standards for the genre, but it delivers a lot of entertainment and excitement for anyone looking to add a splash of realism to their first-person shooting.